Hi, here is Klaas Nienhuis and I want to show you how to use the Burkham tile and multi-texture map to create um, uh, materials like this where I've used uh, four separate bitmaps for each tile and randomized them all over the place. It's a bit fiddly, so let's start this thing. Uh, let's fire up the material editor and render my uh, plane. I've got a plane here and it's blue. Uh, the plane is 100 by 150 units and in my case my units are centimeters. So a 1 by a 1.5 meter. Let's create a material. You can use any material here. I'm using a standard material but V-Ray or Mental Ray or whatever you like uh, will work. And let's start with a uh, Burkham tile map. And uh, let's render this. I don't know what happens. Okay, this looks a bit weird. I've got my uh, rounded corner here and this is straight. So we're going, going to do our first trick and I'm going to explain you later why. We're going to use a mapping channel 2 in this case and I'm going to add um, UVW map modifier and also set it to 2. Now comes the, the nice trick. And the size here is 1 by 1 and if I do that um, I can uh, predict what size my tiles are going to be. So if this is set to 1 by 1 I know my tiles are going to be 4 by 2 units and in my case that is centimeter. So I'm going to render again. Okay well that makes sense here. I've got a plane of one, 100 by 150 centimeters and these tiles are 2 by 4. So let's make my tiles a little bit bigger so I can see what I'm going to do later on. And I'm going to add an edge here just for um, uh, just for the moment. I'm going to get rid of the edge later on. So now here my tiles are 15 by 15 centimeters. That is uh, 6 inches. Okay, I can work with this. Let's move on. I want to put a bitmap in there. And I've got my bitmaps here. So uh, let's take this one and add it here as a color. To, uh, well, let's, let's see actually. Okay, here, this is it. The bitmap is as big as the plane, but I want to have a single bitmap in each tile. So let's make that happen. To make that happen, you enable in Burkham tile, tile mapping, enable tile mapping. And you have to make sure that this channel matches up with the channel in the bitmap. And that is one. So let's render again. Okay, nice. So here is a bitmap in each tile. And there's also some randomization going on. Let's see what that is. Um, I've got a random flipping. I already have the multi-texture uh, stuff uh, switched on, which is useless because I don't have a multi-texture. I can also switch on uh, 90 degrees um, rotation. So this is a single bitmap, randomly rotated and flipped. So let, let's try something out. Uh, let's say I want to have, instead of one uh, bitmap in each tile, I want to have two by two. And switch this tiling here to 2x2 two two and try again and there we go. So you can see that there is a difference uh, in mapping and mapping channels for what happens within a tile and what happens to all the tiles as a, as a whole. Keep that in mind. And I always forget and it's really tricky to keep that in mind. Okay. I've got one bitmap now, but I want, to ha I want to use multiple and I also want to randomize their colors a little bit. And for that I'm going to use a uh, multi-texture. Multi-texture. Let's go there. And first let's add a few textures. I've got four, four stones. 
let's use those there we go uh, they're being added here and their map channel by default is 1 and the map channel here is also 1 and that's why we've used 2 here and 1 here if it were if it uh, was the other way around uh, I would have to start changing the map channel on each bitmap I'm adding which is a pain in the ass for 10 15 bitmaps uh, with 4 it's doable with more it's uh, really uh, not that nice okay let's make sure I'm using all the right checkboxes here I have to switch uh, enable randomize multi texture and Burkham gradient in the Burkham tile and I also have to randomize by Burkham tile these two I always forget I have to randomize by Burkham tile and I have to randomize multi texture and Burkham gradient there we go and let's render it now well this looks nice I think it's time to get rid of my edges let's set the width to 0 by 0 try again okay I'm clearly using different bitmap tiles uh, bitmaps here in each tile it randomizes the four of them it rotates them and flips them uh, finally I can add a little bit of uh, subtle uh, color adjustments oh, that's very subtle but it's nice so here we go uh, randomized uh, material based on a limited set of bitmaps and it uses the Burkham tile and the multi texture. There are a few checkboxes and map channels you have to uh, get right, but after that, it's a breeze. Okay, well, have fun um, creating your own materials. Bye bye.